Hey what's up guys this is Akshi and today we have with us my first crypto mining rig so in this video we are discussing is buying a second hand graphics card worth it as well as I'm just sharing my profitability of June 2022 uh, I'm also sharing from where I bought this part how I assembled it I will show you a time lapse of the whole process which actually took three days uh, so without further ado, I do let's get started So guys, let's start with a closer look. Uh, now, again, this is a Realme TV. So I connected through the HDMI. Now I don't use this television uh, just for mining rig. I mean, this is main home television, of course, but sometimes to monitor, I use it. Again, it's Hive OS. It's running Hive OS, which is Linux based secure, and I can control everything from my computer or my phone. So I don't need this display. It's just the initial setup uh, when I require this display. Other than that, I don't really need it. As you can see right now, it's mining at 46.54 mega hash on Ethereum. Uh, and this is the RTX 3060. Uh, so this is how the build looks like from side. Uh, again, pretty cool. Uh, now I got this frame from Amazon as well as this riser. All other parts are outsourced by a friend, Chayan. And, uh, of course his company extreme pc so if you want to buy something a buy graphics car or computer parts definitely you can reach out to him i will leave the links in the description below pretty high quality parts at very good rates so as you can see this motherboard uh this power supply again this is a corsair gold edition power supply uh everything is outsourced by him he provided great discounts uh, I will get into the desktop and will show you all the pricing when we will do the time lapse of the whole setup thing that I did. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm running an Ethernet cable from my router, which is also a NAS, uh, to this PC. And again, as I say, the display is just just once for the setup. Uh, otherwise, I don't use it. It's Hive OS, remotely controlled, uh, and the build looks really good. This is a nice case from Rigmaster. Again, it's very expensive, not recommended, but just because if you want a setup in place. Now, again, by next year, I will add another graphics card. As of now, this motherboard supports two graphics cards. So let's get into the desktop uh, and see how does this perform. Hey, what's up, guys? So we are back on desktop. Uh, so let's go to our favorite browser, which is Brave. Uh, this is the Hive OS dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. I can control everything. So you can see uh, right now I'm mining, uh, mining 46.50 mega hash Ethereum. So I have two coins, so Ethereum and Tone coin. So again, I'm doing dual mining. Uh, and you can see temperatures are so really high, 68 degrees Celsius. That's because it's too warm here. Uh, so ideally it should be under 55 or 60 so yeah my card is running too hard uh, and because because this room is kind of closed it's small as well as there's less ventilation here uh, and again dual contract it's mining it's it's doing uh, too much of work uh, so yeah i will definitely change the coin but right now ethereum merge is near uh, and that means that we need to shift so probably when the shift will happen i will mine only one coin Till then I will try multiple coins so that I'm safe or I can try my luck. So as you can see 46.158 mega hash on Ethereum, 1.036 giga hash on Tone coin, uh, which is good. 68 degrees Celsius, quite warm. Uh, these are my clock settings. Now this is the GeForce 3060. Now again, I won't lie. Uh, I referred to Solar Miner's video, a pretty good channel. Uh, I love the content uh, and as you can see this video was posted in April 21 uh, this is what brought me to mining to be honest like I knew about it but I never tried it like I was never confident that in India we could do that but yeah we can and you can see he's making 13,000 monthly on 3060 and this got me pumped but the graphics card price was insane at that time so I waited a year long and then I finally bought it so i copied his sheet but again i make quite modifications i will leave in the links in the description 
so this is all the parts that i bought now again don't go to the image the image might be similar to his uh, but focus on the content so i added again what things i added like i bought this frame this pi plus riser uh, so by the time you can see the time lapse in the video on the left side i will try to put this on the right side so that you can simultaneously know the parts see the unboxing and see the whole setup process because that's quite long all right so graphics card 3060 i bought second hand from chen by again thank you chen uh extreme pc is amazing website you can definitely try it uh and you can get pretty dis good discounts there uh links will be in the description so he got me second card now again this covers whether buying a second hand card is worth it or not so i got it for fifty six thousand. this is the uh v1 edition lhr that is nerf edition kind of non lhr you can call it uh and i got it for fifty six thousand. now at that time when i bought it in march uh the 3060 ti lhr again we can go to our favorite website whattomine.com so 3060 ti lhr was at sixty five thousand. so i thought you know uh i am saving around eight to nine thousand rupees uh, I am getting more mega hash because 3060 Ti LHR uh, was mining at 40 mega hash and this card as it was HHR or LHR V1 on Windows it was mining 49 mega hash. So I thought I am saving 8 to 10,000 rupees uh, which will decrease my ROI by at least one month as well as uh, it's just one year used so it has four years of warranty pending it's Zotac uh which is pretty good right so i just bought it seems good deal turned out to be on linux i'm getting only 30 mega hash which was sad uh, and i never used windows but finally lhr unlock came but the bad thing is now is that now because the lhr unlock came that 3060 ti that 3060 ti as you can see lhr it says l now mining at 60 mega hash so if i paid 8k more i would get basically 20 more mega hash so this answers our first question whether buying a second hand graphics card is worth it well at that time it was worth it again uh, when there was a lhr and non lhr i bought the L non lhr basically like it was lhr but on windows it was fully unlocked so kind of so for 57,000 if I bought an LHR 3060 LHR you can see the 3060 LHR here uh, it it used to give uh, sorry this is TI again 3060 yeah so it used to give 40 mega hash and this used to give 49 mega hash so for the same price I got 9 mega hash more as well as fully unlocked because uh, so I get 10 mega hash more as well as 4 years of warranty so both benefit is there and again mining is all about mining for longer time and you're gonna open the graphics card you're gonna clean it so again warranty matters uh, but if you don't have more warranty you can definitely maintain it for a longer duration so it's all about pricing if you're getting great deal definitely get it especially in the bear market where people will shop mining this is the best time to get in get the second hand graphics card and start mining so again, I'm upgrading, uh, adding another graphics card next year. Probably I will buy a second end or maybe a new one. I'm not sure. So again, I'm waiting for the Ethereum merge because we don't know what coin will be the next, what algorithm we will mine. So based on that, we're going to select there's too many cards right now. And this LHR thing, uh, this was not required. I mean, again, they are selling graphics card. They should sell graphics card. So as of now, if would, if would I buy 3060 Ti, that would make more sense. Uh, but when I bought it, then probably my 3060 is a good deal as well. And thank you Chen for this. As well as he got me all great parts. So MSI N50 MS2, uh, pretty good motherboard, but only two PCI slots. I would recommend to have more slots so you can add more graphics card. Pretty good deal. If you compare Amazon pricing, it's probably good. Uh, Cooler Marshall, best in class power supply so that because power supply is important, right? You, are, you don't want to fry your graphics card. Uh, Intel G6405, a nice Pentium Gold processor. Uh, again, high quality Corsair of engines. 8 GB, 32 mega, 3200 mega hash RAM. Again, pretty great pricing, pretty great quality. 
Uh, now this is an optional like pipeless riser so I just want to mount, mount it in the frame so I need a riser uh, again I waste the 990 rupees on it as well as this frame which is overpriced 1800 rupees but I just want to be organized that's why I paid this so if you minus this uh, the overall cost that I paid was basically 77500 uh, again, Solar Miner got this for 7700 uh, in April. So I basically buying a second graphics card got it on the same rate. Now this is when the the Ethereum mining was a top, right? And I bought it when it was a dip, not that great dip. Like now it's even dipped, but I bought it in a deep. So again, keep keep buying dips, but it keeps going on. So let's let's talk about the profitability. Uh, so as of now, the overall cost that I paid was eighty thousand two eighty nine, uh, and it's giving me forty seven mega hash. Uh, so again, I have did a modification to this sheet. So definitely you can live in the link. You can find in the link in the video description. Uh, forty seven mega hash uh, at one eighty five watts. So right now on on the HiveOS, you can see it says one thirty five watts, but that's just a graphics card. So if I add the power supply and the motherboard, uh, it's a little more. Uh, and right now the ethereum generation ethereum rate is fallen down so it, if, if you come to our good old friend what to mine and if I say like 13060 it's showing me 41 mega hash but I'm getting 48 mega hash uh, and I will do it 180 watts because again we have the whole system we're gonna hit calculate as you can see it's one dollar three cents without electricity which is very less because if you go to solar miner videos it's 13,000 per month uh, and that's because the difficulty has been going up and ethereum right now is under two thousand dollars and at that time it was over three thousand dollars so yeah it's it's, uh, it's a dip time right now it's the time to buy most people will left mining during this time but i'm hodling uh, as you can see so profitability is 1024 after electricity so the generation will be 2300 minus 1000 rupees electricity cost so 1200 rupees this is when there is a dip so there might be a time where you're gonna pay electricity from your pockets but it will cover up so don't worry about that again not a financial advice it's, it's, it's a risky thing uh, ROI is probably 64 months as you can see so I added this year thing so five years so when I bought it it was a dip and I bought it the ROI was two years so I thought okay uh, my graphics card has four years of warranty remaining if I spend two years to do ROI uh, the next two years I gonna earn pretty good and I gonna hurdle so I'm gonna guess best price of Ethereum because unless you sell you make money in mining right again when you sell you make money so 5.3 years right now it's insane my graphics card life won't be this much but it will again recover or we might find a next coin ethereum merge is coming uh, that's why the price is falling as well as the difficulty is high but probably we'll, we might find a new coin or ethereum will definitely improve so i'm not selling anything i have uh, this is i have 0.4 ethereum right now 0 0.04 again uh, and 10 ton coins so this is the start price as you can see and i will mention my sell price here so yeah right now it's not profitable but definitely we're looking forward for the market to improve again this is the time where it's everything is down so CRO, bnb bitcoin ethereum everything is down so uh, is it worth it buying a second graphics card yes if you're getting good deal now i see a lot of big farms kind of buying graphics card like 1060 1030 are cheap because they know they're kind of mining every coin right now because we are not sure which coin will pump after ethereum uh, so they are preparing for that so definitely if you're getting good deal it's all about good deal at that time that deal might not be good afterwards or it might be worse it. like come on now solar miner bought this for brand new he bought 55,000 right the whole bill cost is 70,000 so at that time it seems good deal not a great deal good deal but now it seems good deal right but again right now if you invest the same money this thousand rupees per month generation doesn't seems to be a good deal either so again it's all about timing it's all about so i'm hodling uh, i'm not selling right now and i will mention about the transactions that i do here so that you know what are my mining profits uh and i hope you enjoyed this whole 
session as well as the the glimpse of a whole setup process again the setup was pain it took me three days uh so that's pretty much for this video hope you liked it definitely check out extreme pc thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video and again crypto channel is coming soon i'm planning for that let me know if you're interested thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now